Hey guys, Ari from Motorcyclist Magazine. In this video, we're going to show you how to improve your sense of comfort, control, and traction. This is how to set the baseline on your rebound damping. Rebound damping is responsible for the speed at which your suspension extends after you hit a bump and is largely responsible for keeping your wheels in contact with the road. As such, it has a big impact on the rider's sense of comfort, control, and traction. The bounce test is an easy way to get an idea of where your rebound damping is set. To do it, you balance the bike upright and then shove down firmly on the tank and seat and observe how the suspension rebounds. If you have too much rebound damping, the fork and shock will extend very slowly when you shove on the bike. Too much rebound damping will result in a rough ride and will reduce available traction. If your bike has too little rebound damping, which is much more likely to be the case, the suspension will shoot up rapidly, overshoot its free sag position, and bounce once or twice. Too little rebound damping will make your bike feel loose, which will affect steering and stability. Depending on how your bike responds to all this shoving around, you'll either want to add or remove rebound damping so that the bike rebounds quickly, overshoots equilibrium very slightly, and then settles to its free sag position. Check your owner's manual to see if your suspension is adjustable and where your rebound adjusters are. Bear in mind that even if your rebound is adjustable, it might not be possible to achieve satisfactory results. This could be the case if the internal damping is way off the mark or if the oil in your fork or shock have a lot of miles in it. Hopefully this video helps you improve your ride. Check in next time for more tips from the MC Garage.